Hello Leo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 8th to the 14th of March 2021 for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Did I say that? <laughs> okay, let's get going and uh, pull your first overarching energy. So what do we have for Leo please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for Leo for the week, 8th to the 14th of March, 2021. What does Leo need to hear the most? Thank you. What does Leo need to hear the most? Okay, card has turned over. Wow, card of Scorpio, the death card. Now, I mean, this is a beautiful card. It's the Phoenix Rising card. It is out with the old, in with the new. It is an energy of shedding old skin rise in your light, emerging in your light. Can represent endings, okay. Okay, Leo, so I'm gonna pull an oracle card. What do we have for Leo, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Leos, thank you message for Leo. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We've got light. I mean, that's kind of what I was saying here. Sometimes you see the sun rising on, on the card of the Rider Waite, which is, it's almost kind of like you are rising in your light. You are emerging. You are the phoenix rising. And the phoenix actively destroys the old. It embraces endings. It, it sheds an old skin in order to reveal its true colours, you know, and it definitely feels for some of you that you are stepping into your light. Yeah. Okay, Leo. Nice to see the cars in synchronicity. Okay, what do we have for Leo, please, angels? Message for Leo, thank you. Thank you. There's something better. Love it. Feels very hopeful. And I like this wonderful energy of emerging, you know, emerging from what was to what's going to be. So I'm going to pull three cards. And then we'll clarify, go deeper into the message, Leo, and it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you as always. Message for Leo, please. Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Leos. Thank you. One more shuffle. Okay. What do we have, please, for Leo? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Wheel of Fortune in the challenge position. Ten of Pentacles, advice from spirit. Nine of Pentacles, future outcome. Okay, let's clarify, go deep into the message for Leo. Okay. Message for Leo, please. Angels, spirits, guides, message for Leo. Oh, none of them have turned up, so I'm going to continue shuffling. What do we have for Leo, please? Angel, spirits, guides, message for, gosh, Leo, so your cards are so energetic. My goodness. Message for Leo. Can we clarify the cards on the table for Leo, please? 8th to the 14th of March, 2021. Thank you, angels, spirits, guides. Message for Leo. What do we have for Leo, please? Angel, spirits, guides. Thank you. So 
I'll do a couple more shuffles. If it doesn't fall out, I will choose. I'll, let me just do one more shuffle, Leo. I prefer the first card to fall out. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. Ten of Pentacles. Uh, we have uh, the Three of Pentacles. And we have, yeah, the Knight of Pentacles. Beautiful. Seven of Swords, Leo. Yeah. Really love this reading. All the pentacles, coins everywhere. And it's been on your mind. And like I said, I was definitely getting the message from my guides that you are, you've been waiting a period of time for this. You've been waiting for that period to turn things to turn in your favour. The period of bad luck is over. The run of bad luck, the run where change hasn't happened, is going to be over. Because this is you rising in your true colours. Releasing that period of things. It feels like you're breaking some cycle that has been, that you've been wanting to break free of, you know. And it feels like things not going your way. It is about to end. And that's what you're being told here, Leo, because it's there's a cleansing, there's a catharsis, a purification, but it's also a transformative energy. Things are going to be transformed. I love that energy here. And what's going to be transformed? Well, for some of you, you may have gone through some financial changes, financial losses. Uh, that could have been in your career, business, finances. Yeah, I, I definitely get this for you. Because in the challenge position, the, the Wheel of Fortune is generally that transmutable energy between endings and beginnings. Um, things turning in your favour, good luck, good fortune, but it feels in this energy, certainly as a challenge position, things haven't been going your way. And it's interesting because it feels like it is beginning to turn in your favour. There is an end to a run of bad luck or things not going your way. Remember there's levels to this card. It could come after some challenge in terms of finances. Uh, yeah, so whatever is challenge your finances, money, there's definitely this energy, even retirement. I mean, there's an energy of, uh, for some of you, there could be some decisions that you're making due to something not going your way in terms of retirement pots. Um, it's not limited to that, but, you know, it feels in this energy. It feels in this energy here, Leo, there's been some challenge to do with finances, and it feels like this run of bad luck is going to be over. Three of Pentacles can be a card of teamwork collaboration. So it could be a business partnership of some kind, collaboration with other people to set up some kind of company or project. Um, can also be to do with new jobs, uh, the beginnings of new success coming your way. This is the advice from spirit. So what you've been working towards, it feels for some of you, you are absolutely beginning to see the light at the end of your tunnel. I will also say, I'm also going to say here, what I'm getting as well, Leo, is the 10 can be a goal. So for some of you, there may have been a goal that may have didn't, didn't go your way. So a goal in terms of money career, so some kind of job opportunity or, you know, financial avenue or pathway or business pathway that didn't go your way. And the message is there is something better. There is something better. 
you know, this can be, like I said, it can be about teamwork, collaboration, partnerships. It can be to do with um, jobs as well. The beginnings of success to do with jobs can be manifesting a new job, manifesting, you know, the beginnings of something new. This is generally the beginnings of something successful. And it's leading to this, the Ten of Pentacles. It feels like the right thing. So if something hasn't gone your way before, it definitely feels in this energy there is something better coming your way and it's going to bring in the reward that you want the goal that you want the money that you want the financial abundance that you want the financial security not just for you but for you and your family your home it feels very beautiful here so i definitely get this energy leo of the beginning a spirit is definitely telling you there is you are going to get this success so either a run of bad luck or something turned against you to do with a previous goal. But it definitely feels for some of you some kind of new goal that you, you are hoping that we have the beginnings of success on here. It definitely feels either teamwork, collaboration, partnership. Oh, okay. There could also be a meeting if that resonates for some of you, a meeting that is going to bring this goal, financial abundance your way, some kind of meeting. So some of you, maybe there is some kind of meeting that means something to you. I'm getting meeting. Um, but it is leading to this, the 10 of pentacles, goal achievement, financial abundance, security, long term success, material success. Interesting energy there, Leo. Because there is definitely a personal achievement. You know, the Nine of Pentacles is an energy of, 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 I mean, this is kind of a goal, but this, the Nine is your personal journey. It is your personal achievement. Yeah. And the Knight of Pentacles is the offer, the opportunity somebody making you an offer and it's bringing in abundance the personal achievement that you've been working towards i mean the knight of pentacles can be a contract like i said it can be money coming towards you can be clients um can be a job offer can be a business opportunity can be a contract call it what you will leo but it definitely feels for some of you there is some kind of personal achievement that the nine of pentacles is somebody who has worked hard to create their own abundance and they're standing proudly in their self-worth self-esteem knowing what they're practically capable of in delivering success for themselves so there's a personal achievement a personal satisfaction that goes with this a personal empowerment so it is some kind of some kind of offer or an opportunity somebody's making you an offer here and it feels beautiful it might be something that you're keeping close to your chest i mean the seven of swords can be the ends justify the means you know it's some in the negative this can be a card of deception uh you know stealing but generally this can also be the ends just justify the means keeping something to yourself so there may well be reasons why you don't want to disclose what you're working towards uh either not getting other people's hopes up or self-preservation self-protection you know if you're at a company or there's been some challenge in your finances or there's a reason why you want to protect yourself you don't let anybody else know um but there's definitely an energy here of, of if you're keeping something close to your chest, putting a hidden strategy into plan into place is resulting in some kind of offer opportunity coming your way that is bringing you amazing reward. I mean, these cards are abundance. These cards are material success. Some kind of real achievement here, having overcome some run of bad luck or things not going your way things not going in your favor 
things feeling beyond your control, which they are, they are beyond your control. There is a feeling of, oh my goodness, you know, with the wheel of fortune in the challenge position, things are just beyond my control. And it is, it's divine timing. Things happen when they're meant to happen. But there is some kind of powerful ending here that will allow you to be that phoenix rising. Rise from the ashes of the old in your trailblazing beautiful colours. It feels very, very beautiful, Leo, in your light. So you're being told there is something better because there is. Powerful energy, powerful, powerful energy. Okay, what do we have for Leo, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for Leo. Message for Leo. Message for Leo. I'm definitely getting a meeting. Some, somebody may be having a meeting. It, it feels like this meeting, whatever this meeting is, it's going to result in an offer. But, you know, you'll know what that means to you. <laughs> okay, so we have healing. Now is the time for you to give or receive healing. Everyone has a natural ability to heal. Others, yes, even you. I mean, it definitely feels like some kind of recovery happening here. Um, yeah, emerging from one phase of your life to another. That is the death card. It's that transformation. We have hidden depths. Something hidden is about to come to light. Perhaps a secret memory at the back of your mind. When we expose what's hidden, we can become free. It's interesting because, again, I'm getting that hidden energy. Interesting. Interesting, Leo. It feels like you might just be secretly putting something into action here. But it's resulting in real success, material success. So very beautiful energy. Um, yeah, love this for you. The transformation of this is beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Leo. If you do, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.